What will stick out to me is uh, probably it will be defined by two things, but one, the defense and uh, how well the defense played and kept us alive the whole season, from the beginning of the season to the end of the season, all the way to the last game. The last game, I mean, we held people under 20 points. I think we are 19.2 uh, points per game. And in this day and age, that doesn't happen, and in particular in this league. The second thing that went along with that was the maturity as our offense came along was Aaron Bailey. He was the one that stands out there that resembles what happened with our offense. And a lot had to do with how he came around and which in turn brought the offensive line around, which in turn brought Tyvis Smith around. And all of a sudden we started recognizing these names that we knew nothing of on August 1st. We will, we will, we will push the envelope uh, to attain those things because we have the people here to do it. We have the fans to do it and we have the support to do it. We just have to make sure that uh, we get out there and do those things in the off season to make our, our, our whole department better. They will probably end up number six, seven, or eight in the country at the final poll. Last year they finished tenth in the country in the final poll. I think since we've been here, we have been top ten, I think seven or eight times in the 15 years, top ten in the country, and four or five of those top five in the country. So when you look at that, it's the one, go celebrate that. But two, find a way to find your other two, three spots, which, which is, is hard to do for anybody. You find that out. There's not many teams in FCS that have won a national championship when you look at the big board. So that's what I'd say that. One, enjoy your success where you've been. And two, you bet. Expect more, but give more to expect more.